What's going on guys, it's Agi here and welcome to a new tutorial on my YouTube channel. Today, as promised, we're going to take a look at how to press your high, what are the keys. There are a few steps we're going to take a look at and it's going to be very interesting. This will obviously allow you to win a lot more games and it will improve your game style for sure. And um, this is what makes the difference between pros and casual players. That's for sure the pressure play. And let's take a closer look at what to do. To prove to you that this strategy actually work and this high pressure and Gegenpressen can actually work, I decided to take two screenshots of two Division 1 games in a season where I cleaned the table and won 8 out of 8 games. I also played a specific formation, had some specific custom tactics and specific player instructions, which I'm going to show you later. But now I want you to look carefully at this clip and tell me how many seconds there goes before I get the ball back. When I'm looking at this clip, I'm thinking about maximum 3 seconds, 3 seconds maximum before I have the ball back and eventually it would lead to a goal and it would also lead to a very big chance before I even score. This is what this high pressure is about guys, it's about getting the ball back fast so you can get the ball in suitable areas of the pitch which allows you to get those easy goals and easy wins. Therefore. I'm now going to explain you those four steps in order to make the perfect pressure play and win the ball back very fast. The first step, a suitable formation, play instructions and custom tactics. It is obviously very different from person to person, from player to player, which formation and which tactics they enjoy to play with. But if I have to come with a guess on which formation in Ultimate Team on FIFA 17, which is the best one, for pressing high and also make quick, fast, easy goals and just in general aggressive gameplay, I will choose the diamond, the narrow one and I'm going to use more likely in the future at least this team to do it when I want to pressure high. And what you can see on the team is that the majority of all these players, actually all these players are physically very very strong and they are very very aggressive in the game style for example the two wing backs alexander and kyle walker don't underestimate the wing backs in your pressure play because you need them to be very fast um, in the pressure play to get high uh, on high areas on the pitch but you also need them to come back fast also the diamond the four in the midfield need to be fast and very strong in one versus one battles just in general not everyone, or at least the very few people, can afford this team. But this is just to show you that this formation is the best one. Also, which is also very important to talk about, is the player instructions. You need to use the perfect player instructions in order to, to make sure that your players are running and pressuring in the right way and also running when you got the ball in the perfect situations so you can make the easy goals. So what you do is, you're putting your strikers to get in behind to pressure the backline to have aggressive interceptions. Then you're going to have your cam to stay forward and that's the only part, he just needs to stay forward. Then you have your CDM who has to cut and try to intercept in the areas and then he needs conservative interceptions. Last but not least, you need your wingbacks to stay back. They're obviously not going to do that all the time, but it makes just sure, at least for me, that uh, they will get back faster. Moving on to the custom tactics, here is what I'm using with the diamond. Build up play, the speed on 70. Passing 58. Organized in positioning, passing 62. Crossing on 30. Shooting on 67. Positioning free form here in chance creation. And in the defense, we have the pressure on 65. Aggression on 50. Team width on 50. And cover. And this is very balanced, um, only in the speed and in the pressure and in the shooting, I'll say that it's much higher. But this is also because you don't want your players to run all of them forward. You still just need them to be in the area and you need them to be um, ready for the Gegenpressen. And you need them to make some fast runs, which is why I have the speed on 70, so they will play very fast. And that's obviously 
what the whole point is with this diamond and with the pressure play that everything needs to go fast you need to stress your opponent and that's what i'm going to explain you more about very soon so what i want you to take a, a close look at on this clip is the way my players are positioning automatically as the computer and here we lose the ball and look at how the pressure plays immediately start three players and he is trapped in the corner guys now over to step two Gegenpassen. on these clips we're not actually going to watch my offensive gameplay don't focus on that only focus and count how many seconds my opponent has the ball before i get it back and count how many players i have in the area always when i have it because the thing is here to only focus on the man who gets the ball and try to stress him as much as possible and send so many players you have in the area against the guy who has the ball and i'm going to show you the exact same clip as i showed before the step two when we trap uh, our opponent in his own corner that's the perfect solution for you when you want to have the high pressure you're gonna try to trap your opponent out in areas where he doesn't have many choices and here he actually has no choices and we end up getting the throw in so what I'm doing to do this high pressure and the gegenpassen is when I immediately lose the ball I will use the double pressure that's the R1 button and I'm also going to switch man very fast in order to send more people over there and I'm doing that on right analog also I'm using the R2 button the sprint button to get so fast over to my opponent and I'm obviously also using the tackling button in order to pressure and pull my opponent's shirt all the time step three courage to step forward with your defenders yes guys courage with your defenders sometimes you have to step forward in order to block or intercept the ball before he gets to your pitch and therefore you can keep the high and hard pressure on opponent and keep making him stressed and do silly mistakes and often which is also important to notice you have pushed down your opponent so low on his pitch that all his players are down and defending which means he has no one to play it up to and you can just keep dominating the game and that's a very important thing and that's also allowing you to step forward with your defenders without having any struggle unless he has too much space and time to play it out of your first gegenpassen which has to be perfect every time but you can step forward with some of your defenders without any consequences and it's just important that if you don't get the player maybe you should make a little free kick just a professional one so you're back in the perfect positions last step direct attacking game style often stresses your opponent more so yes guys when you can time the pressure perfect with the double pressure button the r2 button to switch fast on the right analog and sometimes the l1 then it makes it easy for you and then when you get the ball oftenly your players are in a very good position they are in suitable positions to get down and get easy chances and if you do that if you play them and if you just play direct and don't care too much about if you lose the ball fast because you gotta be confident in your ability to uh, get the ball back just within five seconds maximum and if the five second rule as i call it if you don't get it on that that five seconds you're gonna just maybe settle back a bit or make that free kick as we talked about but what i really did notice when i played these first division games and really just pressured high and played very simple and fast in the attack that i smashed my opponents uh, with more than five to six goals almost every game and none of the goals were fancy it was just simple solid fast attacking and the reason why, in my opinion and what I think, is that whenever my opponent got the ball, he was stressed. He was so stressed all the time because the gameplay was going so fast. There was always pressure on him. He never had time to think what to do with the ball. We, simply with this strategy, we outthinked him. And we were thinking so much faster than him or not allowing him to play fast because we did this high pressure that he was simple. He was not able to string three passes together which is weird right because he's a first division player but they were first division players sorry and 
that's something very interesting in my opinion because this high pressure play has been very very difficult for many people to 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 get into their game style in this game because it's easier to keep the ball and easier the, the players are better with the ball they have better technique than the the last version of fifa so that's the very interesting point that i noticed and what i'm going to build further on in my game style because with this formation um with this tactics with this player instructions i maybe found a pattern and by pattern i mean like a solid structure which finally can allow you to pressure this high so what i want you guys to do is to go out and and really practice this in head to head on foot or just yeah head to head um with normal teams and try implement this and you need to have that mindset to get the ball back immediately and then it will work for you guys so with that being said i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope some of the steps are understandable this tutorial was not easy to make and it was not easy to explain but it's actually very simple you don't need to do any fancy with the joypad or anything uh, it's just about having the right mindset and think quick and have the courage guys and uh, yeah let me know what you think about this video and um, well with that being said thanks for watching guys the name is Rosenmeier slash Age see you another time